Today, detectives grilled Christopher Bay, the principal accountant, Peter Sajabi, the national secretary of the East African Beneficiaries Association, Rahama Mugere, the compliance officer, and Ishaka Sentongo, the assistant operations manager, Cairo International Bank. The four people, including the bank's operations manager, Tarek Muhammad, accepted to having signed on the withdrawal forms for the alleged ghost pensioners. But it has turned out that each of them is denying responsibility of the colossal sums of taxpayers' money allegedly lost in this scam. It is alleged that uh, Obey Christopher, the principal accountant, minister of public service, accepted to having entered the 1,018 ghost pensioners into his computer. But also a source told us that up to this day, he has not availed the detectives the physical file that is supposed to be the source of the data. Obey claims that he got the list from the registry pension, but officials from there say they do not know the names, thus raising a big question, where did Obey get the names from? But the permanent secretary, Ramafa and Obey allegedly sent orders to the Ministry of Finance to consider paying the alleged ghost pensioners, claiming they had worked in various disciplines, such as police, state house, and local government, among others. But whenever the money reached Cairo Bank, it was channeled to only the alleged workers of East African Beneficiaries Association. According to Peter Sajabi, his work was only to recommend those who wanted to open bank accounts. But according to a source, some of the bankers confirmed that Sajabi withdrew the money. But it's not clear where he would take the money since the account holders do not exist. There are also unconfirmed reports that Sajabi is one of the board of directors, Cairo International Bank. As investigations continue, the allegations that some of the people masquerading as lawyers are extorting money from the suspects, claiming they want to bribe those following the case. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.